guys, uh, Modern Mods, and we are back uh, with our second video in the Motivational Monday series. And today I'm gonna handle it a little, little differently. I'm gonna be um, more upfront with you guys and more straightforward with the things going on that may be happening in your life or whatever, because, um, you know, when we wanna grow, you have to really connect with things and you have to be emotional with these things. That's the only way you're gonna learn and your only way you're gonna get better. Um, but today I wanna to talk to you guys about why and why you never quit. But that first why is uh, the why of why we do what we do. And that why right now has no answer. I can't answer why you do what you do and you can't answer why I do what I do. Nobody knows what we do or the reasons why we do it, only we know. And what you have to understand right now is that you will never ever get anywhere without finding out why you do what you do. When you find out why you do what you do, then you go do it. That is how you succeed in anything in life anything at all no matter what it is why did you go get a drink of water because you were thirsty you drank the water you have to understand why you do what you do you go to work and you don't know why you go to work you have nothing you, you got nothing you have you can make it a check but you won't be succeeding you won't be getting that fulfillment and you won't be gaining the happiness that you need um, I talk with a lot of guys at my job um, all day about well, everything in life, really. And um, a big thing, you know, that I want to get into next is uh, the people you hang around with. But getting back on why, you need to find out why you do what you do, no matter what it is. And then when you do that, you chase it. Because, let me explain that now, figuring out your purpose is a lot like when you were in school and they'd say, oh, make goals, and you never really understood what they meant, or you, you didn't really take it seriously, you'd write down your little silly goal and just be done with it, you know? But some people really wrote those goals down and they chased those goals, and that's what made them succeed in what they did. You have to understand the difference between goals and dreams. When you fit, realize that, you will then know why you're doing what you're doing for that purpose. A dream, is something that we all, you know, we all want. The dream is the bigger picture. And you can't achieve any dream that you make. Anything is possible. There is no definite answer when it comes to reality. Life, it can change in a flash. You have no idea. But you have to make goals to get to those dreams. You have to know why you're doing this to get to that dream. My dream car is a GTR. I don't have a GTR right now, I want one. Do I know why? No, I don't know why. That's why I don't have it yet. But I'm understanding now, I've realized that I want this car because I will be cool or whatever. No, it's because it will show myself that I actually did something. I will show myself, I will feel rewarded for what I've done. Pardon the pause guys, got a call in the middle of the video. But back to what I was saying. Exactly, I will be rewarded for what I've done. And that is the reason I am now achieving these small goals that are leading up to my dream. And you will get different dreams along the way of life and everything in that, in that pathway. But going on to um, why you never quit. And that has a lot to do with more than just yourself. But beginning this off, you have to understand if you want to succeed, if you want to be great, if you want to do things in your life, you need to love you first. And now this can get twisted in multiple ways, but let me explain this the best way I can. Loving yourself is not being selfish. Loving yourself is not being greedy. It's not being mean. It's not being a me only personality, okay? It's being there for others, but understanding and respecting yourself in the process of doing that. Knowing that you helping others is helping yourself. Knowing what you're doing is helping yourself. Now, respecting yourself is not just around other people. That's in your lonesome. 
that's the times we neglect ourselves the most. That's the times we don't realize that our sadness or our depression or loss of money or whatever is not because of he, she, whoever. It's because you. It's because you didn't believe in yourself. It's because you don't get up. It's because you eat too much. It's because you don't care. When you care, you respect yourself. When you care, when you care about yourself, your life will change. You have to stop making excuses and reasons to believe that you aren't good enough or you can't do it or you can't do this. A lot of guys watching this video or girls or anybody may have this car right here. Good effing job. I'm not allowed to cuss on YouTube, but good job. Don't down yourself because your car isn't faster than somebody else's or your car isn't better. You got a car. You're watching this video right now. You need to understand something and respect yourself. You are better off than a lot of people. And that's not saying that to be prideful. That's saying you have to understand you're lucky and you're gifted and you're blessed where you are, no matter where you are right now. You could be in a mansion or you could be in a garage or you could be in a basement. Doesn't matter where you are or where you came from. It matters what you're gonna do to put yourself where you need to be. It does not matter and you have to understand that. Now going on to the people that you're around is the largest, the absolute largest contributor, contributor to your success. If you, let me say a saying that I've heard that's very, very deep and I hope you guys can understand this. You can't hang around chickens and expect to soar with eagles. And soak that in and think about that. You can't hang around chickens and expect to soar with eagles. That is as true as it gets. You hang around with people who don't care, who are mean, who steal, who hurt. What do you expect those people to do to you? Love you? The, the definition of love to them is not the definition of love. The love you may think you get from them is not real love. You can't expect to be a prosperous person while you're hanging around with people that are at the lowest level of humanity. You have to push yourself. You have to educate yourself and you have to be around people who are going to succeed like you want to succeed. It doesn't have to be the same dreams. You just have to be around people who are goaling for their dreams. Not people who want to be millionaires but will sit and work at McDonald's until they become a millionaire. Money, dreams don't come to you. You go to them. You will never, and I don't care what anybody says, you'll never get rich sitting there doing nothing. Never. I mean, you, correct me if I'm wrong. You, you're going to sit there and do nothing. And I'm not talking about people who were born into riches. No, we're not going to sit here and play that, oh, they're lucky game or they're that game. No, none of that no more. You guys have to stop that. Whoever does that, you stop that. You stop making excuses for reasons of you can't do this or why they do this or, oh, they got this, so they got that. No, that's not the case no more. Because nobody sat here and told me, oh, this is how you're going to do it and this is what's going to happen. Nobody. Did I know that I was going to buy this car and it was going to potentially change my life with YouTube and meeting you guys and helping you guys? No. Do I get on YouTube every day? and shoot a video and stress and work hard on uploading and editing these videos because I just want to be rich? No. Because if I did that, if I chased my money, if, I, if money was my motive, I would never succeed. I would never goal and I would never achieve. You have to understand right now, and this goes out to anybody, stop chasing money. Money comes and money goes. Money is not a dream. Money is not something you need to focus on. You focus on your passion. You focus on your craft. You focus on the overall dream. I get on YouTube, I make videos because I wanna help people with my car. I wanna help people with their car. I wanna help people with any car. I want to help people because there was a time when I needed a video for my 
what I was doing, I couldn't find one. It would have saved me a lot of time. I don't want to get on here and talk to you guys because I want to one day be rich or I want to one day do that. No, I want to get on here and talk to you guys because I want to one day get a message from one person, whoever, saying I helped them. That's why I do what I do. And let me tell you right now, money comes. Money will come. God is great. You get what you deserve. You get what you give. And that is the underlining biggest fact. You cannot sit here and hang around with bums and expect to be royalty. You can't. You can't sit here and complain, I grew up in my grandma's basement. Look at me now. I'm doing it, I'm getting it going. I'm a lot farther than a lot of people that want to be where I am. But I got there because I told myself I can do it. I believed in myself and I pushed myself. Let me explain a word to you guys that is very misconcept, you know, miscombobulated, whatever. Grinding. Grinding's not going out flipping a bag or going out and flipping a burger unless you interpret it right. Grinding is getting something, seeing it, chasing it. That's grinding. Grinding is creating a goal and you are grinding towards that goal. You have an objective, you have something, you have a mission to complete. You're not out here working and just doing nothing and I'm grinding, I'm getting my bread, I'm getting $300 a week. I'm not dogging nobody, but I'm being real with y'all. I'm, I'm being as seriously blunt as possible. The measly checks and you go out and you waste your money on clothes and you have nothing left, that does nothing for you. The materialistic things come when you achieve the dreams that you go for. You wanna be rich, good. What are you gonna do to be rich? Why do you wanna be rich? Stop making these silliness dreams and not achieving them. I call them silly because you don't go for them. No dream is silly, especially if you're in a hard situation. But a dream is silly if you dream it and you don't do nothing to it. Dream something, go chase it because it will come. And one more thing to let you guys out of here, but is for the people who are struggling with some self issues and problems that are causing them to not motivate, maybe grief, guilt, whatever. Let me give you guys another reason why you should be doing something or why you should be doing it. Look around you. Look at the people you love. Look at your family. Look at your friends, okay? You go out and you do something for yourself, you may not give it your all. I take care of my great-grandmother. She raised me. I get up in the morning. I don't want to go to work, really. I'm tired, okay? My grandma's hungry. If she needs something, I'm getting up and I'm going because she needs it. I'm doing it for her. You guys need to motivate yourself. You need to find something, someone, and you need to grab that thing and you need to let that thing change your life. And you need to focus on changing their life too. Because people, humans, us, all of us, we have a gift. We all have a gift. We are all unique individuals. Let's start living like it. Let's start using our talents. Let's stop giving up. Let's stop making excuses. Let's be something great. I hope you guys enjoyed today. Um, more to come. I really hope that I can... Um, help you guys to get through whatever you're going through. I hope you guys all had a great Father's Day weekend. Um, and remember, one thing, never give up. There's no reason to. There is no excuse for giving up. You get excuses out of your life, only good will come. Excuses are never good. What good comes from an excuse? You get, Tell me in the comments, guys, what good comes from an excuse? Um, and be real with it. And don't say like, oh, getting off work. No, be real. Tell me what good comes from an excuse. I want you guys to understand that you can be great when you believe in yourself. So without, with that being said, guys, enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy the rest of your week. Content is coming up today. I will be dropping this video on three others, I think, maybe even four. Uh, my software was down, but it's up and good now, guys. 
Thank you for being patient with me. Thank you for still growing with me. Even though there was no videos uploaded, I got about 10 to 15 more subscribers in the week. And um, I'm very happy and I'm very excited. And I cannot wait for more content to come soon, guys. Um, and I just want you guys to know out there, um, I'm praying for you. And I'm in your corner. If you ever need anything, you let us know. And we're, we're there to help y'all. Okay? Uh, hint, hint. Subscriber video coming up with one of my boys. I uh, just met him. Uh, he's a Chrysler guy. He is a subscriber. And you guys will meet him very soon. We're going to be doing a real exciting video for all my 200 guys out there. Um, or anybody looking into getting a 200. Uh, you're really going to enjoy this one. And I can't wait to show it to you guys. But until then, stay safe, stay strong, never quit. Peace, y'all.